Hi, Dr. Doug Graham here, author of the best-selling 80-10-10 diet. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about my own journey and what was my biggest struggle in adopting the 80-10-10 diet into my own lifestyle. And the big problem was that I didn't know where I was going. So I was wandering aimlessly. I was trying this, that, and the next, all sorts of things. There were lots of options out there. Nobody was doing 80-10-10. Nobody was eating 100% raw food 100% of the time. And there was lots of models to follow and I really didn't know which one to go on. So I struggled. I tried this, I went back to that. I tried this, I went back to that. I went back and forth a lot of times. It was a long journey. It was about a 17 year journey from the time I started making small dietary changes until I finally pretty much stumbled upon 80-10-10. At the time it wasn't called 80-10-10 so I didn't even know that I'd found it when I'd found it until a few days later and a few weeks later when I started realizing how well what I was currently trying, the experiment that I was currently trying that seemed to maybe make sense finally started working so well and I go, wow, this is really good. Let me keep working it. Let me keep refining it, defining it, eventually coming up with the terminology to describe it to others, checking the nutritional science behind it and the rationale and understanding what was going on well enough to eventually write the 80-10-10 diet for you to enjoy. And the problem invariably was the same problem. I kept going back to cooked food, I kept going back to complex carbohydrates, I kept going back to eating really heavy foods and fatty foods and rich foods. I kept wanting to have something else other than what I was eating. And the problem it turned out was because I wasn't eating enough fruit. I would have a fruit breakfast or a fruit breakfast maybe with a few nuts. I would have Sometimes a salad for lunch, sometimes I would have some vegetables for lunch or a soup, sometimes I'd have fruit and salad, sometimes I'd have fruit and an avocado or fruit and nuts. So I didn't have a pattern exactly. And at dinner time, I did have a pattern. I'd eat my salad. I was, I'm a good salad eater. I like eating vegetables. I'd eat a salad for dinner and that would be that. And then I'd be looking around for something else. I wanted more and over a matter of a few days I'd start looking in grocery store windows, I'd start looking at other foods, I'd start thinking well maybe a baked potato isn't such a bad thing. I'd go through that for days in my head until I'd finally eventually be driven off of raw foods and driven back to cooked and I wasn't having a lot of fun doing that. So I added in more fruit. I started eating as a rule, fruit for breakfast, fruit for lunch. If it was daytime, I'm a fruit eater. And then my salad for dinner. And I still experienced those problems. But they didn't come as often. They didn't come as fast. They didn't just overwhelm me. But eventually I'd make a conscious choice to eat some complex carbohydrates. And it was challenging to stay all raw all the time until I started eating fruit for breakfast, fruit for lunch, and all the fruit I wanted before my dinner salad, and then everything just fell into place. The fat content lowered down, the cravings of all kinds just left me, and I became a very happy guy. My mind got incredibly clear, my physical performance just went through the roof, and everything fell into place. I've never looked back. It's been 30 years and we just keep moving forward. This is Dr. Doug Graham reminding you to go to health.